Hello everyone, welcome back to Craft with Katie. I'm Katie and in today's episode I am going to show you how you can use a kitchen sponge, a potato masher and a rock or stone from your garden to bake these three rainbow crafts that you can put in your window or on your windowsill to show your appreciation for the NHS. So without further ado, let's get creative. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to make a rainbow painting with a kitchen sponge. So you need a kitchen sponge, some scissors, some paint and a piece of white paper. And you need to cut your sponge in half and you need to keep half of it for later because we will use it for our grass. But for now, you just need one half and you need to put some blobs of paint in rainbow order like I'm doing here. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue and purple. And once you have your paint on your sponge, like so, you need to take your sponge and place it on the piece of paper like this, press it down and then glide it all the way round in a rainbow shape. And that's how we make a rainbow with a kitchen sponge. And if you want to, you can touch up parts of the rainbow with a paintbrush with the same color paint. I only really had to do it for this little bit of blue. So once you have got your rainbow on the page and it is dried, you then need to take the other half of your sponge that you had earlier and with the scrubby bit, with the harsh scrubby bit, you get some green paint and dab on some green grass and the texture of the sponge works really well for this and then you can add some flowers and this is very very easy all you need to do is add some dots of paint in little clusters and choose three different colours so you don't have too many colours going on at once and that's really all you have to do you can add a sky and some clouds you can add whatever you want to your picture but this is the basic rainbow that you can do with a kitchen sponge So now I'm going to show you how you can decorate some stones or rocks from your garden with some paint and some gel pens. Just make sure you've got permission to take stones out of your garden. So what you need to do first of all is make sure you wash your stones with some warm water and some washing up liquid just to get rid of all of the bits of dirt and germs. And once your stones are clean, you then can paint a rainbow on like so. And I'm just painting a very simple rainbow, just going around the curves with each color like this and then adding some clouds with some white paint at the end of the rainbow. And that's all you really need to do. It's so nice and simple. So now I am getting out my gel pens. I absolutely love gel pens. I'm a bit obsessed with them. I have far too many. So I'm choosing all of the rainbow colours and pastel gel pens work particularly well on stones, but you can use whatever gel pens you have. And for this design, I am just doing a spiral of little dots, changing the colour every so often, making sure the colours are nicely spread out. So just go around in a spiral, do a few dots and then change your pen and this will take a little bit of time but the result is very pretty so just be patient because it will be worth it in the end. So as you can see I'm just building up the spiral shape changing my pen every few dots and we are very nearly finished now and this is how it's looking. I really like the pastel shades I think it blends into the rock very nicely and here is the finished design. So for my next design I'm using some neon gel pens and just colouring in stripes of the rainbow so I'm not curving it round I'm just doing a stripe of neon pink first then a neon orange then neon yellow and just very carefully colouring it in and it might be worth doing two coats of colouring because the surface of the stone is a little bit dark so if you do two coats of colouring then it will make it pop out a little bit more and again just being very very careful it's very tricky to colour on a rock because it is a very rough surface so just take your time and build up the colours you don't have to do these designs these are just three ideas just to show you what you can do 
you can do whatever rainbow design you like and you can even stick stickers on and just be as creative as you want to be so when i had finished with the stripes i found a silver gel pen and just did some little stars all around the rainbow design just to make it sparkle a little bit more and i also outlined each stripe very carefully with my silver gel pen and i just think metallic colors will make your stones sparkle so when you have finished with your stones you can leave them on your windowsill or you can leave them somewhere for somebody to find just make sure you are being safe and following the social distancing rules and if you want to do this make sure it's the painted ones because if it rains the gel pens will wash off so here are the three completed designs and finally i'm going to show you how you can make a rainbow cloud picture with a potato masher so what you need to do is find a blue piece of paper. If you don't have a blue piece of paper, you can colour a white piece of paper blue to make a nice sky. Then you need to cut seven strips, one for each of the rainbow colours. So I'm starting with red. And if you don't have coloured paper, again, you can colour in some white paper, which is what I had to do for a couple of the colours because I only had a certain amount of paper. So you just need to stick on each strip like this and here I am colouring in my orange one because I didn't have an orange piece of paper and you can use crayons, felt tip pens uh, or pencils it's totally up to you you can colour them all you can ev even cut out some pages from a magazine of the colour that you need that would work really well too so you just need to cut out the strips and if you do each strip slightly different length it will give it a nice uneven look and a bit more of a natural look so that's what I did I cut them all different lengths you don't need to worry about measuring them to be the correct length and just add a little bit of space between each one like I'm doing here and there's the yellow and the green and now I just need to make some blue and purple and again I'm having to colour this because I only had the one shade of blue paper so I didn't want it to blend in so here we have the blue and violet and just sticking the last one down like this there we go there we go you can see that I have done them different lengths so once you have cut all of the strips out and put them on your page you need to get some white paint and your potato masher again make sure you get permission before you go into the kitchen and take one and just cover the potato masher with the paint and then you can just stamp on some clouds and this works really well because of the holes in the masher it gives a nice cloud texture if you don't have a potato masher you can just use a sponge that will work just as well too so here is how it looks when you have finished when it is all dried and i think it works really well so that's all from me those are the three crafts that you can do at home. Now it's over to you to see what you can create. Goodbye, everyone.